Good morning. This is George Kachuk with RCM Wealth Advisors reporting to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago. I'd like to talk about the equity markets this morning. Uh, pretty interesting things going on. Uh, last week on Friday we had the S&P touch the new high, uh, reverse off that high, and of course the Nasdaq got hit. But really taking a look underneath the hood, even though uh, the S&P touched a new high, we have the Philadelphia Semiconductor Index touching new highs. It looks like the market pretty much is probably going to correct going forward here a little bit. In fact, I'll say uh, this, this year kind of reminds me a lot of 2011. So let's take a look at some of the similarities. Well, in 2011, the market ran for almost about two years. We had a good bull market run. Indexes kept hitting new highs, but growth stocks actually were doing poorly. They were starting to spill over, and uh, the indexes were sort of masking that weakness. It looks like pretty much we got the same thing going on today. Uh, indexes are pretty much near their highs, but actually a lot of the growth stocks are doing very poorly. They're starting to spill over and get hit. And namely, we see this in the biotech space. Uh, the large cap biotech stocks are just basically uh, getting destroyed and it's spread to the drug stocks too that actually were doing uh, quite well. Other similarities are the semiconductors are hitting new highs. Uh, we pretty much had that same scenario in 2011. Looked like, oh, well, maybe there's some strength in this market because semiconductors are doing well. Uh, and they may just be the last stocks that uh, turn over and fall. This is to be seen. Uh, financial stocks doing very well, and regional banks. Uh, there's probably a lot to do with the 10-year yield improving. So this is one positive for the market. But again, this is to be seen if this is just the last leg that spills, spills over. Now, there were some sectors that still did pretty well in 2011. And actually, it's kind of eerie because uh, some of those sectors are the same sectors that are doing pretty well today. That includes uh, in the retail restaurant space, a lot of those stocks are holding up pretty well. And those include stocks like Chipotle, Panera Bread, Buffalo Wild Wings, uh, Dunkin' Brands, Starbucks. So that's something you might want to look at. And also the apparel sector uh, is doing pretty well. And those are names like uh, Michael Coors, uh, Under Armour, uh, G3, uh, Kate Spade. So you might want to take a look at some of those stocks if you want to stay along. But basically the idea is if you're going to stay along, you should start getting away from the growth names. Look for low beta names because they're the only things that may sustain. Now, history doesn't necessarily repeat, but there are a lot of similarities between now and 2011. So it's just extreme caution is advised. Uh, NASDAQ, over the last five weeks, we've had seven days of extremely heavy selling on the down days. The up days have come to us in lighter volume. That pretty much tells us that the market just technically wants to take a rest. If you're a long-term investor, it's still a good growth story going forward. If you look at a weekly long-term chart of the S&P or the NASDAQ, Nothing looks damaged at all. The trend's still continuing. However, if you're a short-term or intermediate-term trader, uh, be careful, look out. Uh, the market looks like it really doesn't want to spill over. But as always, let price and volume be your guide. This is George Kachuk, RCM Wealth Advisors, reporting to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago.